thank you so much for being here. Um, if you've done one of these writing workshops before, funnily enough, I was looking at my slides from last time and the last time we did a writing workshop was exactly six months ago, like to the day. Um, so we are we are back six months later um, with a similar workshop, but a little bit a little bit um, focused on on objects today. So we're going to be talking about how you can use objects to write. We're continuing on with our sort of idea of writing your world um, this time using objects and we'll talk a little bit about what that means why write like why are we doing this why um what are the sort of benefits to us to even our health of of writing or keeping a journal um and there are a lot of them actually some of them are kind of surprising so writing helps us to explore the world around us and the world inside us and those are both things that we're going to be trying to do today by pulling an object out of the world around us and thinking about sort of what effect it has on us inside this is a really important one and i want to emphasize this every time we write is that no one can write the things that you write except you which is kind of amazing so no one can write from your perspective but you and your observations are unique and one of a kind. None of us is going to write the same thing, and that's amazing. It's a great thing. Also, writing has health benefits. We talked about this a little bit six months ago, but it can reduce stress, increase well being, and it's actually been linked to lowering blood pressure, too. Um, so, you know, so add this to sort of your wellness routine as well. It can be a creative process that is also good for your body. Um, so that's just a couple of things to keep in mind as you think about doing this as an ongoing practice. Okay, so this is where I say gather your materials. So if you don't have a pen or a pencil or a piece of paper right now, go ahead and grab that. And again, feel free to use your computer, tablet, your phone's notes app. So just take a second to get what you need. Okay, I'm going to ask you to get one more thing, or at least to visualize one more thing. So this is kind of what we're going to use to um, jumpstart our writing today. So don't overthink this too much, but I want you to find an object where you are in your home that brings you comfort. That's something that is comforting to you. And I'm going to give you a couple ideas of what sort of categories that might be. So it could be something that is like an heirloom that was passed down from family members. Um, it might be a gift that someone gave you that has particular meaning to you. Uh, it could be something like comforting because it's soft or like a blanket or a stuffed animal. Um, or it could be a photograph. It could be anything that helps you to sort of feel calm, feel at peace, um, that has that effect on you. So take a minute to Either if you have access to that and you can just grab it, that'd be great. Um, if it's not something that is readily available to you, you're gonna imagine it the best you possibly can, okay? And again, remember you can do this exercise as many times as you want. So if you don't do you know, an object that you pick now, you can always pick another one in the future and do this. So don't feel like you only have one opportunity. It's possible that some of the objects that you're picking have like, May, might make you have really strong emotions um, and that's fine. But if you feel sort of overwhelmed while you're doing this exercise by something emotional, you can always step back, do whatever feels right for you. Um, I know sometimes we're working with objects here that are really emotionally charged. So um, if you feel overwhelmed, don't hesitate to just take a break or whatever it is you need to do. All right, so what we're gonna do, get your pen and whatever paper ready. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some observations. I'm going to have some slides guiding you in observations about this object. So like we've done in the past, we're going to be dealing with, at least at first, um, sensory details. OK, so we'll talk about you know how we're seeing and how we're visualizing and smelling and touching this object. And then we'll talk about how it's making us feel, OK? So I'm going to walk you through these slides one at a time. And I'm going to give you probably like two minutes on each slide to write down um, your observations. And these can be full sentences. They can be a couple words. They can be whatever it is that feels right to you. We're not aiming to have like any certain format here. We just want you to sort of get down your thoughts about this. OK, first, let's take a few deep breaths. Mm -hmm. 
if you're like me, it might feel like it's like the first time you've really actually breathed today. <laughs> so that's a nice feeling. Okay. So I like to do this thing where I, you put your hand on your chest and your hand on your stomach, and it sort of helps you feel like that you are actually breathing. Okay, so once we've done that, let's start on our first one. Okay, we're gonna start with our, our visual sense. So let's look closely at our object. What does it look like? How could you describe it? Its color, its shape, its size, anything that you wanna say about the way that it looks. What does your object feel like? Think about texture. Is there anything you notice when you touch this object that you might not have noticed in inter interacting with it before? And, and what is it that you notice? Okay, so we're gonna move on to our sense of smell. Depending on your object, it may or may not have a notable smell, but smell your object. What does it smell like? And does that smell remind you of anything? The next one we're going to do is, where did this object come from? So how did it get to be with you? How is it? How did it end up in your hands right now? So when you're thinking about where this object came from, you might think about, you know, who did someone give it to you? Um, did you, you know, get it? during a trip did you just like where what were maybe the origins of this object who made it do you know what do you imagine when you hold this object do you see anything in your mind when you hold it you can close your eyes if you want to see what what do you picture okay so imagine this object could say something to you what would it say so think about just if it had the ability to tell you something, what would it tell you? So what do you want to say to it? Is there a way you could tell this object what it means to you? Or anything you want to say to the object? And finally, so how do you feel? Just add that to the end of it. Yeah, so just how are you feeling right now as you finish doing this? And you can write that down. Okay, and the very, very, very last thing is actually the very, very first thing. So if you want to put a title on what you've just written, you can make it, I'm just going to make it the name of my object. You can make it whatever you want. But if, you, if you're not sure, just call it what your object is. And that just gives you sort of a landing spot for, you know, what the, what the object is itself that you're describing. It was James Baldwin said this, and it was that um, when you're writing, you're trying to find out something you don't know. Um, and I think, you know, we're, we're dealing with, like with this, with these objects, we know these objects, but we might not know all that we know about them. You know what I mean? And sometimes when it comes to our feelings or like the depth of our feelings or the, the sort of, um, all the different aspects of how we're feeling. We might know internally that we feel upset, but we might not know why. We might not, until we sit down and write it down, we might not know, you know, who it's directed at. We might not know um, where it's coming from. So um, I think you really learn a lot about yourself and about the world when you write. Um, you know, no matter how you do it, it doesn't have to be complete sentences. It doesn't have to be a poem. It doesn't have to be an essay. It could just be, you know, I'm sitting down and writing you know, some words to describe how I feel. So that's yeah. always something you can do. Yeah. Definitely. And you can always do this with objects too. If you're someone who finds it hard to um, know where to start when it comes to writing, which I do as well, um, you, always, you can always just like think about an object and that might take you to a place emotionally or, or um, just in your imagination that helps you to write about something else or makes you feel something else to write about. But you can always just do this object exercise um, in order to kind of get those wheels turning. You know what I mean? Objects are powerful um, and there's a lot to say about them, I think.
I just want to say thank you so much for your courage and generosity today. You wrote something down. That's wonderful. 